finished your column yet? Oh, Tracy. Look, the main thing is not to be afraid of the deadline. Don't watch the clock. And suddenly, out of nowhere, you'll get that light bulb moment. Chance to meet up, have a chat, you know, see how you get on. Tracy, do you remember that social worker telling Toby about Mr. and Mrs. Scott? Very nice couple? Yeah, yeah. Well, they're coming to meet him tomorrow. I mean, we'll wait to meet them, but they might want a faster Toby. Exciting, isn't it? Fantastic news. <laughs> you look like you'd rather get fostered by crocodiles. Do you remember saying they're really nice? Yes, yeah, sure. So, what's the problem? The problem is, it's bound to go horribly wrong. Why? You watch. From now on, everything I touch, oh. No, Toby, think positive. If you want something to go right, it will. Nah. Seriously, what do you want to happen? Right now? Mm-hmm. Breakfast. Right. Well, let's make you the perfect breakfast. In this place? Uh, think positive. Now, what's it going to be? Boiled egg. Proper soft, dippy egg. But not snotty. Four minutes, 20. Jeff is going to eat so badly. Harry, can you not get milk on Jeff, please? Four minutes, 27. I'm on it. Go, Liam, toast. From the day I was born, I'm jinxed. Sapphire, this just came. So <laughs> we'll probably even go backstage and meet Dizzy and his crew. Gina, it's going to be so wicked. Two tickets, which are worth like loads anyway. You know I so have to go, yeah? No. Why? No way. You know why? You are joking me. Look, let's not go through it again. Oh, I hate you. What's going on? You lot, stopping me from going to the gig. It's like being in prison. Wait. I'm not stopping you from going anywhere. Why won't Gina let you go? Cos she doesn't want me to see my dad. Well, she must have a reason. Wait, I can't help you if you won't tell me what's going on. I am on your side, Sapphire. I'm not gonna change my mind, Sapphire. Look, if I tell you, just be on their side. Try me. The last time I went out with my dad, I stayed out quite late because uh, he was packing up the gear and everything. How late? But it wasn't that bad. How late? Call the police late. And that's why Mac and Gina won't let me see him. Because you stayed out too late with your dad? Ugh, there must be more to it than that, Sapphire. The thing is, I kind of accidentally got on the tour bus just to speak to my dad, but then I fell asleep. Well, that could happen to anyone. Exactly. Which makes me think there's still more to it. Well, if you don't trust me, then... <sighs> All right. I 
customs man found me. What? He was checking for passports and saw me under these coats. Passports? Look, I didn't know we'd gone to Amsterdam. I'd, I'd been asleep on the ferry. The thing is, though, I just wanted to be with my dad so much. But now, they won't let me see him. And it's so not fair. It's okay. Sapphire told me what happened with her dad. You've got to let her go and see him. These kids spend their lives away from the people they love most. But those people aren't always the best for us. That doesn't mean we're not allowed to see them. <sighs> but her dad, to put it mildly, isn't fit to take care of her without supervision. Have you seen her yellow phone? That. In fact, read all of them. The fact is, we're the ones who care for Sapphire. Would you let her see her father on her own? You can see that point, though. Well, shall I rip these up, then? No! Don't do that. Oh. You want them? Yeah. It was so obvious. Sapphire, I was trying to help you. Anyway, you can't stop me. <laughs> what? Well, I'm gonna go no matter what they say, and there's nothing you can do about it. Don't throw it back in my face. You never said what your dad was like. <sighs> Sapphire, don't go. It was about building up trust in Mike and Gina, with me. Why well, you don't have to go on. Look, I'm not going. Satisfied? I'm stressed about it. I'm not. You've just got to own the field, you know what I'm saying? You've got to let them know you're someone spectacular from the start. Do you want to practice? And which of your five foster parents did that work based on? All right, then. Well, do you want to play football? Do you want to play football? Oh, thanks. <laughs> no, honest. I don't want to play. I'll just mess it up. You'll be great. It's just kicking the ball around. Right. You and me versus them. One on one formation. Go down the right flanks, switch to the left, across it in, head the top corner, yeah? Got it. Oh, just forget it. I'll mess it up anyway. The ball will burst or you'll hurt yourself. Don't be stupid. Liam can play, so how hard can it be? <laughs> T. Go, T, go! Ow! Liam! Bad luck, boy. Nice title. You've already sent this off? Yeah. Good day. Toby's the lad at the dumping ground, yeah? Yeah. Duh, you told me to use things around me for inspiration. Yeah. But when Toby goes outside, birds stop singing and dogs begin to howl. <laughs> I know, funny. <laughs> well, do you think he'll find it funny? Ugh, oh, so negative. And as if he's even going to read it. None of them do. And even if he does, he's going to know I'm joking. Watch it, bad luck boy. Could have been a black cat. Shut up. How do you do? <laughs> the curse of the mummy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the curse of the no mummy. Toby. <laughs> Tracy, be 
because she wrote Toby was bad luck boy, I found some things out. Black cats are unlucky, but also really lucky. Cross you read my column? Everyone did. And that's why you took the mick out of him? <sighs> Great. Well, you wrote it. I was being ironic. Funny. Except that his mum and dad were killed in a car crash. What? Which isn't funny, actually. Didn't you even know that? Mm. We were just mucking around. Mm. We didn't mean it. It's like... We've all had bad luck. Especially all of us in here. That's why people are going to try and rip it out of you. The thing is, by Tracy making him to bad luck boy, she's made Toby famous. I wouldn't mind if Tracy wrote a book about me. What do you think? I think you put too much on. Anyway, what's the big deal about Toby's parents? My mum died. No one made a big deal about that. You should tell Tracy she'll make a book about that. I don't want her to. My mum died. She's not coming back. So here we are, in the story. <laughs> you look like a clown. <laughs> Can I wash it off? First rule of care work. Know your kids. Poor lad. You can see why he blames himself for the crash. Yeah. Oh, then there's this. The woman who fostered him. Talk about lightning striking twice. Unbelievable. Yeah, a bit of sensitivity is what's called for for our boy Toby. But the Scots visiting this afternoon. It's bound to be a little tense. <laughs> Gina, I'm not going to see those people. Why? Because what you wrote was right. No, it wasn't. I didn't know about your mum and dad. See? Really, I didn't. I was trying to be ironic. Irony means... I know what it means. You do? It means saying one thing but meaning the other. <sighs> yeah. So by calling me bad luck boy, you meant I was... Good luck, boy? No, I... I meant you could be good luck, boy. If you stop believing you're a bad luck, boy. You see, I think that you're scared that if you like the Scots, then something bad's gonna happen. But you need to face those fears. Spider's bad luck. Mm. Oh, don't be such a baby. It's just a tiny little. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I will deal with it. Get it out, just get rid of it! It's so hairy, it's huge as well. It's probably made a huge web just inside the puck hole. <laughs> Don't get too close, it can move really <clears> fast. <throat> I... No! No! And do you know why? Because when I touched it, I realised it was all in the mind. And it just tickled. <laughs> After that, I wasn't scared anymore. Toby, where are 
Wait! Foster parents. Toby doesn't want them. T, this is our chance. The Scots are here! Is Toby coming here? Yes. Can I ask you something? Where is he? Is Toby really bad luck, boy? No. Toby! Because in my book it says 13 is an unlucky number. That doesn't make sense. Tracy, I, I think all numbers under 20 are unlucky somewhere. Where's Toby? But how can that be when they're lucky somewhere else? Gus, there's no such thing as unlucky numbers or lucky ones. So why does everyone believe in them? Because the whole world is wrong. Toby! 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 Go away! Oh, Toby, don't do this. They're a really nice couple. It's a really good opportunity. For something really bad to happen. No, Toby. What you need to know is there's no such thing as jinxes, curses or bad omens. That's what you think. It's just something to blame when bad things happen. It's not real. Living with the Scots, that could be real. It's all when my mum and dad. He's um, probably a bit nervous too. <laughs> Hi, I'm Johnny. And I'm T. Oh, right. <laughs> no, that really is my name. Would you like one? They're from a new tin, Nelly. Johnny? <laughs> I made them late. I called them names. That's why they drove off in a tip and that's why they crashed. No, Toby. It wasn't your fault. It was. Toby, listen. Nothing will ever bring your mum and dad back. But if they could see you now, they'd want you to be happy to give the Scots a chance. Toby, whatever happens in life, mostly it's up to us. Not chance or fate or whatever. You don't lose out on the good just because you're scared of the bad. Come on. I want to show you something. Now, walking under a ladder is meant to be unlucky, yeah? Well, we could walk under this ladder a hundred times and nothing bad is going to... Oh. Pair of idiots. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was stupidity. <laughs> Are you ready to meet the Scots? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Ah, uh, well, I, I think our, uh, our guests have had enough tea, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Why don't you collect the teacups? Of course. We're very tidy, especially me. Yeah. All right, Johnny. He's not in the room. I'm sure he won't be long. Uh, in the meantime, this just came. I thought it might amuse you. One of our team uh, writes a column. We were name-checked last week. Uh, shall we see what she has to say? <laughs> this is Toby. Hello. We just had an accident. <gasps> oh, that was bad luck. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was stupidity. No. We were under a ladder and... Oh, well... That definitely was bad luck, then. then I'll say, you don't want to go walking under ladders. <laughs> um, it might be a good idea to go and get cleaned up. On our way. Toby just wanted to say oh, hi and see you in a minute. Sure you're OK? Yeah. Get cleaned up. All right. <laughs> Bye. Oh, someone must be popular. 
<laughs> um, going somewhere? Yeah, what's it got to do with you? What do you think? I was the one that said let's build up some trust. You can't trust me. Sure, last time it was Amsterdam, what's next? Join the circus? That was my dad's fault. Yeah, right. Anyway, you shouldn't even be here. You're all supposed to be downstairs with those people come for Toby. Well, I guess that's just your bad luck. It was your choice what you did, so don't try and blame your dad. My dad? I don't give a stuff about him. I probably won't even see him. I'm going with Ferris. Who? My boyfriend. So what was all that I never see my dad stuff about then? I was trying to help you. Don't pretend you care. Look, get out of my way or get paint on my clothes. You are not going anywhere. Even if I have to lock you inside here myself. Now give me the tickets. Give me the tickets! Fine. Satisfied? Are you sure you want to do this? I need to know what's going to happen in the future with these people. Look, just because some people believe these tell the future doesn't mean it's true. But it might be. Cut the cards. Pick one. Anyone you like. Well, let's see it then. Death. Toby, he was hiding in the garden. He thinks he's all bad luck boy because he's on his own, but so are you, and I never get to see my mum, do I? We're all on our own. Well, I've got these two. And we've got you. Let Safra explain about the death card. <laughs> No one dies or anything. It's all about turning over a new leaf. Leaving the old you behind. Making a new start. What's wrong with the old me? Nothing. Hey, what's going on? Just a minute, Jane. If your mum and dad could talk to you now, what would they say? They'd say give life another chance. Do what you want to do. Tracy, um, our, our newest member. She has an article to Tracy Baker. Oh, oh here, here he is. Oh, don't you got any friends without all the paint? We thought you might like something new to listen to. We, we hope you like it because we're not sure, sure what stuff you like. Thanks. The thing is. Well, maybe one day we'll get to find out, eh? Thing is, I've been really nervous about meeting you. <laughs> In case it all goes wrong. Then Tracy said, I should go for what I really want. And all of a sudden, I realised something massive. I don't want to get fostered. Come on, 
Toby? Not yet. I thought I sort of had to, but I don't, do I? That's what you mean. It's what you mean. It's what you want, Toby. It feels good here. I want to stay here with everyone. Yeah, I do. For definite. Is that OK? Yes, Toby. Come on. At least we don't. Are you okay, Tobes? Saf! Jean and I have had a word, and we know that you're anxious to go to this concert tonight, so what about if you go with Tracy? That way you'd be under supervision, and we'd be prepared to accept that. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Now what? Anybody else would have to do the washing up? No, it's quite interesting. Oi, 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 oi! How tall do you think I am? Can I join in? Oh, one touch, one touch! Go, 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 go,